about five years ago, over the Christmas break, I was having some blood work done at Hogue Hospital in Newport Beach. Uh -huh. The phlebotomist, as she started to get her needles out, she noticed I was wearing a New Horizons logoed polo shirt. Okay. And she asked me, uh, do, you know, do you work there? And I said, yeah, I do. She was like, well, what do you do? <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit concerned because she has needles. and. Uh, <laughs> Right. I, I gotta, I've got to understand how I answer this question. <laughs> Absolutely. And I, I, I told her, I said, well, I, I, I happen to, to, to own the place. And uh -huh. uh, she goes, uh, she stops and she sits down and she starts crying. Wow. And I didn't know what I had said or done or if I had some, you know, maybe I didn't smell right. I didn't know what the story was. But <laughs> so uh, she said, you've changed my life. And wow. So now I'm curious. I said, how have I done this? And I hope it was a good way. It seems that three years earlier, her husband, who had been a construction worker his entire life, he lost his job. He'd, he'd fallen off a roof. He'd hurt his back. He had 100% disability. And he didn't know what to do for work after his recovery. Mm -hmm. there, the, the, the resources are made available to the people aren't advertised. Many people don't know what training is available to them, what resources are out there. Cindy talked about grants and, mm -hmm. and things like that, but that people just don't know where to go to find out about it. Over the course of almost three years, they had gone through their life savings. They had... Uh, wow. They were looking at losing their home, and someone had uh, made him aware of the uh, um, workforce uh, center, the EDD office locally. Mm -hmm. uh, he went down, he visited it, and he found out that there were different trainings available to him. Mm -hmm. um, he chose to visit our school as well as a truck driving school as well as a security guard school mm -hmm. and uh, he came in and he really was kind of negative you know you can imagine he, yeah. he had his savings uh, depleted and so he talked to us and uh, he was really looking at a security guard school because it was easy and didn't have to have any experience and he goes I don't know anything about IT I couldn't do anything in the IT world and we said, hey, you know, let, let's pump the brakes here. Yeah, let's talk yeah. through this. You know, make a long story short, sure. we put him through some introductory to computer courses. Mm -hmm. We got him placed with a local lumber company working the service desk. Okay. So here he was, a lifelong construction worker. Right. He's working the service desk at a lumber yard, dealing with orders and questions coming in from sure. builders that were fulfilling their orders. He had all the knowledge. He had all the skill to talk to them about their particulars. We gave him the skill set to input the order information into the computer, to look things up on the computer. He's got a job. He comes home. He's happy. His uh, wow. life savings are being replenished. Wow. And, and we made a difference. We moved the needle in somebody's life. That's wonderful. I mean, that was a great story. And thank you for sharing that, Kevin. You know, you get, you kind of say, well, I hate, didn't know how to respond. And here she has some needles in her hand. And she's asking me, well, how do you do? So that goes to show you, you know, you will never know the lives that you can touch.